guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks so as you guys remember the title we are getting into some more revisiting products that i don't like this is slowly but surely becoming a series on this channel so as y'all read by the title we are getting into some curls dynasty products so you guys have definitely seen this kalahari leaving on my channel multiple times before i've been trying to use this up for some time now and i am nearing the end of the bottle so i don't think i'm gonna finish it up today but you know how that goes so i also have the icing on a curl and it is the whipped hair butter and for my styler i have the twisted definition twisting cream so for today we're doing something a little different um i literally just got out the shower like didn't even put on lotion just got out the shower so what we're gonna do is is we're gonna go ahead and apply the kalahari leave-in and um the butter and y'all my hair was in desperate need of moisture, so we're going to get into that in a few minutes. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put my plastic cap and hot head back on for maybe about 10 minutes or so. Um, it's definitely nothing that I usually do in my step, but I need this leave-in to really penetrate today. So um, I'm not going to wash my hair again for maybe another week and a half or so. Um, so I need this moisture to last. So that's what we're going to do. So... um yeah so let's get into my base y'all know that i like to let you guys know what i use on my hair um i just had it in one big twist y'all like i literally just got out the shower y'all know i don't do wet hair it grosses me out like this is too much for me so um i wash my hair with the casey by Cara Cara care curl essence collection i feel like there's like four different names to that collection but i wash my hair with that the shampoo and conditioner i do have a review on my channel so i'll link that up above and then i definitely went in and did a protein treatment with the tgin curl protein reconstructor and i also really enjoyed that i do have a review of that on my channel as well so i'm gonna go ahead and section my hair like i always do and i'll come back and we'll start applying the leave-in the oil and my butter all right y'all so we're gonna go ahead and start with the kalahari leave-in smoothie leave-in so y'all something that i want to start incorporating in on my product reviews is the price of products because sometimes that has an influence on how much i like the product so this i i'm pretty sure i got all of these products from target when they were having like you spend forty dollars and get however much coupon i also have the deep conditioner that goes with it, the pumpkin mint protein moisture whatever and i will have a review doing that not sure when but I will have a review of that. So the Kalahari Leave-In and the Twisted Definition. These are both $14.99. Um, I've seen that they have sales pretty frequently. I know that I paid less than these at Target, but they didn't have all of these products on Target.com. And they don't sell them in my Target store anymore. So from what I found, these are $14.99 a piece. And then the icing on a curl was $12.89 on their website. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to apply the leave-in. Y'all know I will split each section in half. I'm going to apply the leave-in, apply um, the Co Camille Rose Cocoa Nibs and Honey on my scalp. And I'm going to also apply the icing on a curl on my hair shaft. So, y'all, this week, my hair felt disrespected, okay? Because... I don't know if it's the change in weather. It got super cold here. Um, I don't know if it was that or I didn't moisturize my hair well enough. Um, well, I know it's probably that I didn't moisturize my hair well enough. Um, the last style that I did was the Jane Carter um, Curls to Go collection. And that moisture, I know, just doesn't last for me. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and start using this. Y'all have seen this. On my channel. Y'all have seen this on my channel. Um, I like the bottle that this comes in, but I know once we get down a little further, it's going to get a little hectic and I'm probably going to have to turn it upside down and shake it. Um, we actually might have to do that like now. <laughs> Um, but it's a very creamy leave-in. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just take this lid off and we'll just 
shake it out so as i'm taking this off the products have a really light scent across the board they don't really smell too perfumey or you know anything like that and it's a pretty like creamy leave-in it's nothing crazy so i'm just gonna start and just apply that i'm not gonna add any water in this step because i'm feeling lazy like i just want to go get in my bed and you know like i don't know what i'm gonna watch but i'm gonna watch something and it's gonna be a great time so i'm going in with just a bit more and just making sure that i have that applied pretty well and it's not that I don't like these products. I just, they just don't do what I need them to do. Like I just don't find um, a need to have them in my stash. So the leave-in is a, is a decent leave-in. It's just nothing, like it's not a repurchase for me. Um, really the most disappointing product is the Twisted Definition. I just had higher expectations. To be honest, there's zero hold. Y'all know that I y'all know how i feel about hold that's a requirement for me um and it's just a cream that just doesn't have a whole lot of hold for me these products are very moisturizing that's partially why i chose to use them this week so i don't know we will see what they do on my hair this time maybe i wasn't using enough who knows but right now i'm going in with this hair butter and i do really like the butter it's going to seal in any moisture that's in there i really really like the butter and i just realized that i didn't show y'all the consistency this is what it looks like and it is like a true butter like it is a solid i i really really like this butter you guys can see that i've been using this so i'm gonna go ahead and y'all know the drill apply the leave-in and the butter and the cocoa nibs and honey and then we'll come back and i'm gonna probably do a braid out with the um twisted definition and we'll see what these products are talking about just came back to let you guys know that the leave-in soaked well into my hair my hair does feel soft you can feel the moisture on there it's just not a super super moisturizing leave-in for me um it's not something that i would repurchase i can let y'all know that now um and i've used this leave-in quite a few times to the point where i've tried to get this leave-in to work so we'll see how it feels after i let it sit under my plastic cap um i'll probably let the leave-in sit in for maybe about 10 minutes and then i'll come back and we'll style with the kalahari leave or chow we'll style with the twisted definition and see where it goes i will probably do a braid out today i'm feeling lazy so we're just going to stick to what we know. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my leave-in all over my head. I'm wrapping my oil into my scalp right now because I forgot. So yeah, I will come back after the leave-in has sat for a bit and we'll get started with styling. All right, y'all, I am back and I am all moisturized and hopefully my hair is too. So I just wanted to come back and let you guys know that I did end up finishing this Kalahari leave-in. This thing is cleared out, as y'all can see on the bottom here. So I'm going to share some of the first couple ingredients just so you guys who are ingredient conscious can know. So it has organic aloe juice infused with organic green tea and pineapple fruit extract, um, organic coconut oil, shea butter, behentrimonium, methyl sulfate, cetyl alcohol, followed by soybean oil. And then comes in the Kalahari seed extract. So the Kalahari seed is pretty, is on the lower end of the bottle but you know whatever i did finish it so that's a plus and for the icing on a curl whipped hair butter it's mango butter shea butter coconut oil avocado oil vegetable glycerin vitamin e and an essential essential oil blend so that's cute um we're gonna go ahead and jump into styling with this twisted definition it is a twisting cream and this is what mine looks like it's a thick cream not going anywhere and so for the directions it says apply to slightly damp to wet hair apply to sections of hair twist and allow to air dry unravel for twist out styles and it says that it works great for type 3 and 4 kinky thick hair textures for creating twist out styles and adding moisture so here's the claims it is infused with aloe marshmallow and ginger root emollient and moisturizing 
provides gel-like soft hold. It minimizes tangles and breakage and adds softness and shine. So the first couple ingredients on here are organic aloe juice infused with organic marshmallow root, castor seed oil, shea butter, manuka honey, um, behentramonium methyl sulfate, and cedral alcohol. So um, there's a little bit more on here, but if you're interested in knowing the ingredients, just go ahead and look it up and I'm sure you can find it. So let's see what my hair looks like with the Kalahari leaving and the icing on a curl. Um, I let it sit in my hair for a good amount of time. And y'all can see it did soak in my hair pretty well. So on the um, looser parts of my hair, that butter really is sitting on top um, and weighing my hair down. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's just take these sections out. So this is what my hair is looking like. And like I said, I did go ahead and finish that Kalahari leave-in. Um, I got all the way around my head and there was only a little bit left. So I was like, girl, mm -mm, this wouldn't even be enough for a midweek moisturizer. So I just went ahead and went back through and just applied it to the first couple sections. And what I will say is that when I went back to the first two back sections that I did, is that it felt like, I don't want to say that they were dried out, but you could tell that like it dried down and wasn't as moisturized as um, when I initially put in. So I don't really think that's a good sign, but you know, we're here now. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and just do a cute little braid out because I'm feeling lazy. So why not? So this is what the back sections of my hair are looking like. It's not crazy to find. You guys know this is the thickest most coarse part of my hair back here um you can see some curl definition but it's not anything crazy um the leave-in just okay to me i really really like that butter though i've told y'all that um really really enjoy the butter so i do have my warm spray bottle my spray bottle filled with warm water and um i do have my tangle teaser here because i want to make sure that my hair is pretty um the tangle before i go in so i'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to do two in this back section. It's going to be a pretty chunky braid out. But so what I will say is that the leave-in and butter combo, my hands are just gliding through. Now, my hair was already detangled. Y'all know that I use conditioners in the shower, rinse out. And um, my hair is just gliding through. So we're just going to go ahead and detangle. And it is going through pretty well. And how could I forget to mention, this is a Black-owned brand, so we love to see it. We love to support it. If you guys want to see me test out the, um, I think it's called the Pumpkin Mint Deep Conditioner, let me know and I can bring that to the channel as well. So this is what it looks like post-detangle. And we're just going to go in with this Twisted Definition. So this is the product that I was kind of disappointed in. It said it has a soft gel-like hold and I didn't experience that at all. Um, you guys know that I don't necessarily have to have a crunch, but I like to have hold. Like I need to know that my style is gonna last me all week and mine did not whatsoever. So I'm just gonna apply this product pretty heavily because I need, I need this to last. So, um, I will say that this twisted definition is very moisturizing. I definitely, definitely agree with that. And it is a pretty slippery product. I know it said it was infused with marshmallow root. So yeah, y'all know the drill. I'm just going to go ahead and do this braid out. Nothing crazy. So I'll put on some music and I'll come back if anything crazy happens. And if not, then I'll see you guys when it's dry. So here's braid one. I'm just going through and squeezing out that excess product and I'm going to put this on the next twist or next braid. Um, so yeah, y'all, I'm just going to go ahead and follow these steps and okay, you guys, so I am back and let's get into these results, baby, baby. I don't know what happened over here. The curls are going a little this way, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Um, so y'all, can we... Like, hello? Like, this looks so, 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 so freaking good. So good. It's so shiny. It's very moisturized. 
I have some length in the back, y'all. I was wrong about this one, okay? I was wrong about this one. So I'm gonna go ahead through, we're gonna talk about each product and get into it. So we're gonna start off here first with the Kalahari Smoothie Leave-In. And um, y'all know that I did go ahead and finish this product out. So we're gonna go ahead and read what it's supposed to do. It says it's a powerful moisturizer, hydrates and softens. I will say that it softens my hair, but I don't think it's the most moisturizing leave-in. Melts away knots, easy for detangling. Um, it was okay. I do think that I was able to run my fingers through, but I don't know if it was because of this leave-in or because I had to tangle my hair multiple times before I got to this step. So, mm. um, promotes manageability, healthy hair growth and retention. That's something that, you know, you would have to notice over time. And it says that it is for all hair types. Would I repurchase this product? Probably not. It's not my favorite leave-in. And if I'm going to spend $15 on a leave-in, I might as well go ahead and buy my coconut water leave-in from Camille Rose. Or, you know, y'all just know I have a bunch of leave-ins that I like a lot better. So this I probably would not repurchase. So next, I went ahead in with the icing on a curl. And as y'all can see, I have really been using this product. This was a product I always enjoyed. It wasn't something that I disliked whatsoever. This I would definitely repurchase. My hair feels super moisturized. Um, like I said, I didn't think the leave-in was the most moisturizing, but this really sealed in the moisture. I thoroughly enjoy this product. And if I was to repurchase anything, it would probably be this butter. And y'all, like I said before, the star of the show was this Twisted Definition Twisting Cream. And y'all, when I tell you this showed out, baby, this showed all the way out. So I left my hair in a twist, in the braids, I'm sorry, for two days. I thought since I was doing like a double cream braid out, it was going to take forever to dry. And I slathered my hair really both in the leave-in and with this twisting cream. And y'all, when I tell you it dried within, I want to say maybe like 14 hours or so, I was very surprised because this is, they're both very moisturizing products. So um, what I will say is that I was completely wrong about this product. So I am sorry to Curls Dynasty, this was user error. I slathered my hair in this product. Um, as you guys can see, it really doesn't even look like I used that much. I think I can use this product as a one and done. Now, y'all, y'all know I don't want it done with a lot of stuff, but this is super moisturizing. It's slippery to glide through your hair. Um, my hair does have a soft hold. Um, so like I said, I had my hair in those braids for two days and y'all know I do my hair once a week. So a week, um, so five days from now, I'll be rewashing my hair and we'll see what it looks like, but it looks so, so good. It's shiny. So some of the claims on this is that it's emollient and moisturizing. I 100% agree with that. It's a very, very moisturizing cream. Um, provides gel-like soft hold. There's a very, 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 very soft hold. I wouldn't say a gel-like soft hold. Um, Y'all know that I'm a gel girl. Um, I'm not sure if this will last me all week, but the definition is here and I don't see that going away. There's not a whole lot of frizz. Of course, I have some frizz, but it is not, it's not bad at all. Like I, girl, you really got to go looking for frizz. Um, it provides minimum, minimum tangles and breakage. Um, it was slippery, so I don't really, I didn't really have a problem with the tangling, but like I said, I detangle multiple steps in my wash day routine so and it adds softness and shine and baby the shine baby the shine there's a piece of frizz right there there's a piece of frizz but the shine baby the shine and i didn't want to go ahead and fluff my hair out too much because like i said i do my hair once a week need this to last but y'all this looks really really good if you guys want to see me do a one and done with this definitely let me know i thoroughly 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 enjoyed this product right here so if i was to repurchase anything from curls dynasty it would be these two products really really like the butter and this twisting cream is going to last me forever i think i've used this maybe three times or so um and girl, it still looks full. Like I showed y'all, it literally, like there's barely a dent, barely. 
so yeah y'all i was definitely wrong about this little twisting cream like i said i wouldn't repurchase the leave-in it's just not something it's not a staple for me like it was cool to try it out but but yeah you guys so let me know if you have tried any products from curls dynasty i know that they also have like a vanilla custard or you know something along those lines so yeah let me know if you've tried any of these products let me know how you think my hair turned out did they always work for you let's let's chat so yeah you guys i hope to see you in my next video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye